Hey YouTube, Amanda here, Hungry Nordic. Today I am cooking potatoes and I'm going to try ricing them with my food grinder over here so this weekend I can make lefsa. This is not something I've ever done before. I have tried lefsa thanks to my friend Bethany Zill. And this gluten-free recipe comes from her family, her mom, Glenda Bertman. First ingredient, first ingredient is rice potatoes. They should be about done. So I'm going to set the laptop down over here. Hopefully I'm not going to make you guys crazy or sick. My camera that I wanted to use uh, wasn't working with the YouTube broadcast. I've got more learning to do. But let's check on those potatoes. I'm going to grab a fork. And a hot pad. They are nice and tender, yeah. All right, I just steamed them for 20 minutes, the russet potatoes. And I use my stock pot because it's got a, like, the insert in the stock pot is colander shaped, so it works really well, for, works really well for steam. You can also boil potatoes, but I figured it was gonna be easy since I've got the stock pot, which works so well for this. That would be an easy way to cook them. All right, stove off. Move this aside. Mm, can you see these potatoes? Woo, yum. I cut them up so that they would cook evenly. And now I'm gonna try putting them into this food grinder and see what happens. Hopefully they turn out nicely riced, just like really well evenly mashed potatoes because what you need, they call it riced potatoes when you mash them this finely. Basically it's just mashed potatoes. There's lots of different ways to mash potatoes though. I did not realize how many there are until I started reading about this. It kind of made me nervous. Maybe I'm being more nervous than I should be. I should just get going. Okay. Let's see if I can move the camera somewhere where you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, where? Here we go. Potatoes into the food grinder. They're nice and mushy, so that helps. Get them in there. Loading this up. These potatoes are just falling apart as I pick them up with fork. With fork. All right, here we go. Closer so you guys can see better. Look at those nicely mashed potatoes. They are soft and well mashed and perfect. Perfect. I think the conclusion is this works. I'll give you a little bit of a close up of the hopper. See if I can hold this and put potatoes in at the same time and not get the laptop all messy. So potatoes go into the hopper. Oops. And then this pusher pushes them down. And when I turn it on, there's a corkscrew down in this 
part that moves it up through the, I guess the blade of the food grinder. And it works just great. So I can hear a commotion in the back of the house. I better go get, ah, you better go take care of. Thanks for joining me. Stay posted or stay tuned. Keep paying attention to Hungry Nordic and see how making left so goes. Hopefully it's going to turn out delicious and be as easy as this food grinder for rice and the potatoes turned out to be. Thanks. Hey,